The backbone fire exploded in size in the last few days and crews are really struggling to contain the flames as, as the fire forces evacuation. Yeah, it's threatening several communities near Fossil Creek. People living in and around Pine, Strawberry and Hunt Ranch are under evacuation orders right now. Let's take a closer look at where that fire is burning on the map. You can see it's right in between Payson and Camp Verde and it's threatening Fossil Creek. Of course, that's a very popular hiking spot that a lot of people love. State Route 260 is closed between Camp Verde and Highway 87. This fire has burned more than 17,000 acres. It uh, more than doubled overnight and it's 0% contained. And take a look at this photo that a viewer sent to us. It's a beautiful yet ominous photo. She took this as she was evacuating. The orange in the sky is actually frightening, realizing that's what they're getting away from. We did have a reporter who was on the scene last night who said the traffic was just backed up for miles. So you can imagine how many people were trying to get air out of the area on that particular road. Hopefully everyone is safe this evening. Now we do have team coverage for you on this this Saturday night. RMA Lockhart will tell us where evacuees can stay safely with their animals. But first, our Kim Powell is tracking the weather conditions that are fueling those flames. Have we gotten any help uh, from what we had yesterday compared to today? Well, they do have some isolated storms up there right now, but unfortunately most of them are just producing gusty winds and lightning. So we'll take a look at the radar in just a second, but take a look at this. This is Pine Strawberry Elementary School. So you can see uh, the camera that we have there. You can see the plumes of smoke, especially here in the corner there. It looks pretty dark, like that's some smoking conditions. But looking at the radar right now, you can see those isolated thunderstorms are right in that area. They are passing through just north of Pace and northeast of Pace. And so it might be over in that area as far as Fossil Creek, but if those storms coming from the Flagstaff area, they might be able to shift their way uh, towards Pine and Strawberry and hopefully produce enough rain to give some relief to the fire crews out there. But unfortunately, with the gusty winds uh, and those lightning strikes, that could uh, p pose another threat. 87 degrees right now in Flagstaff. You can see the isolated storms up there passing through. 95 in Pace and same thing. Uh, might see some smoke there as well. 97 in Prescott. Breezy, but mostly clear skies there in 85 in Pine Top. Here in the valley, pretty breezy here as well. 115 degrees outside right now. 18 mile per hour winds. If you're heading out this evening, it's going to be fairly warm as well. 103 still by 10 o'clock tonight, but Good news, excessive heat, uh, the, that warning is about to expire. So some good relief for us here in the Valley and of course for those fire crews. We'll take a look at it coming up in full forecast. And it's been a long time that we've been under that warning. Thanks a lot, Kim. Well, as the Backbone Fire forces folks from their homes, the Arizona Humane Society is now in Payson. They're offering people a place to stay with their pets. Anyone that has a pet knows this is a big concern if you have to stay in a hotel or somewhere else. So organizers set up a shelter where evacuees can take their dogs, their cats, their animals. RMA Lockhart is joining us now to explain these really critical resources. Right. Well, the Arizona Humane Society is busy this fire season. Its response team arrived in Payson this morning. This is the organization's third deployment to a wildfire in just the last two weeks. The temporary shelter is set up at the Rim County Middle School in Payson. A team of six is there, including a veterinarian and emergency animal medical tech. They are examining pets, even vaccinating them. It's set up right next to the Red Cross Evacuation Center. Uh, so if you need to stay there, you won't be far from your pets. Uh, Bretta Nelson with AHS says they just want people to know there is a safe place to bring your pets as the fire forces people out of their homes. They don't have family or friends or a pet friendly hotel. They may not leave their homes and that's our biggest concern. So we want people to know we have a pet shelter set up here. And if you have livestock, there is a separate shelter set up at the Payson Event Center. Now, Nelson says it is so important to have an evacuation plan for your animals, too. And she says practice that plan and have five days worth of supplies for your pets ready to go.